now on Bounce. Before you jump the broom, we want to talk to you about the legal side of getting married. I want to welcome Takora Davis, an attorney for the Creators Law Firm. She handles copyright, trademark, wedding, legal business, and small business slash creative contracts. Uh, that's a lot. Gee whiz. <laughs> Thanks for being here tonight. We appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself first. Well, I'm Takora Davis. I'm the creator's lawyer, and I own the creator's law firm. And okay. so I help entrepreneurs build, grow, and protect their business by providing them with luxury legal service. So okay. All right. Well, it's wedding season, and uh, you uh, have a list of six things that brides and grooms need to know about before they walk down the aisle. Now, the, uh, the first one, uh, vendor contracts. You want to go over that? Yes. You want to make sure that you always have a contract for every single vendor that you have in your wedding. I see this a lot of times where people make verbal agreements or if they say, oh, well, I have a family friend. It's always best to get it in writing. I can't even remember what I ate for dinner last night, so I'm sure you're not going to remember what you entered into a contract with someone about. Absolutely. So that's very important. No doubt about that. Okay, now, number two, everybody talks about it, destination wedding. Yes. Oh my gosh. There's so many brides and grooms that are really saving costs by doing a destination wedding. So you want to make sure that if you're working with a wedding or event planner or even a travel agent that you arrive into the city, um, you know, at a, at a designated time. Like in certain countries, you have to actually be there for three days or 72 hours. And I even think in France it's 40 days in wow. order to get actually legally married there. Mm -hmm. and I've heard uh, Charlotte is a good destination wedding. A lot of people come here, mm -hmm. but they're, they're so backed up. I mean, with the different places because... I I mean, it's amazing how many people are coming here to Charlotte. I know. I love it. All right. Okay. Well, let's go with number three, intellectual property. Right. So another thing is that the actual videographer and photographer are the ones who actually own your wedding images. A lot of people think, well, I'm the subject or I'm the one who's captured in the picture, so it's actually my property. So you want to make sure that you understand that they are the actually ones that own it. And if you actually want the rights, the copyright to that, you need to have a signed agreement and be prepared to pay a hefty price oh, for it. Oh, that's a, a good tip. I, didn't, I certainly didn't know that. Okay, mm -hmm. let's go with uh, the fourth uh, tip. We're talking about insurance. Yes. A lot of vendors and venues will actually ask for people who actually have weddings there to disclaim liability. And so you want to have your own backup wedding insurance in case something disastrous happens. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to cover the cost of vendors and venues or even things for guests. So that's really important to have your own liability insurance if you're a bride or groom. Okay. All right. Uh, referrals. You, I mean, you tell me, you, you're dropping some knowledge that I had no <laughs> idea about all this kind of stuff before I did that a long time ago. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, okay. Number five, referrals. Another great thing is to make sure that um, you look for referrals for your wedding vendors. Um, unfortunately, a lot of brides and grooms have actually been getting scammed lately. Mm. So it's really important to do your own due diligence. See if you can go on a website like WeddingWire or the Knot.com to see the types of referrals and, um, you know, testimonials that customers have in the experience. It's very telling. Oh, yes. All right. Good deal. Uh, just don't just pick somebody out of a book and say, oh, let's go to let's do Not that. A good uh, idea. Okay. All right. Not number, a good idea. number six. <laughs> Marriage license. I know this seems so silly, but with the hustle and bustle of the wedding, a lot of times people forget that, oh my gosh, I need to get the license to actually get married. You want to make sure that you get that license and you actually have to have both the engaged couples, both individuals, bride and groom, or whoever it is, the parties, to actually be there and present to get that marriage license. Wow. So, so really, people have forgotten that, huh? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, thank you so much, Decor. You can yes. learn more by visiting creatorslawyer.com. Decor is also on social media like Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Her handle is at Creators Lawyer. For more information, you can log on to WBTV.com. Look in the web extra section right there on the home page. Uh, thanks for being here. It's some, some interesting information you dropped today. Thank you but, for having me. All right. We'll be back with more news on Bounce right after this.